We can talk amongst ourselves. Whew. So, uh, work, huh? Hmm. Yeah. It's cold out. Really? <laughs> Soda streams. They're good for making soda. Also great for making seltzer on the fly. And that's about it, right? Wrong, dead wrong. Did you know that you can carbonate liquor with your soda stream? Today, we're putting it to the test to see which kinds of liquor can be soda streamed. I'm bringing on my friend and alcohol enthusiast, Will Fulton, to help me out. Well, we've tried this a bunch at the office. It actually works really well. I'm excited, I have never done this before. I'm excited too, and I have done this before. So first I think we should start with something basic, uh, you know, your raspberry vodka. It smells like raspberries. Yeah. This is, oh sh This is magic. Isn't this cool? Wow. And put some ice in there, it'll fizz up even more. That's like a really refreshing vodka soda. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. It's like a vodka soda without the dilution of the soda. Yeah, it's a strong vodka soda. It's, it's definitely like strong. Sometimes that's what you want. Those are bubbles, all right. Oh, hell yeah, golden bubbles. Looks like butterbeer. I've never had that. Perfect for your Harry Potter theme party. Rick the Sempra! HP. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I don't. Ah! <laughs> ah! Not ready, it's not ready. Ooh, what's going on here? Is it taking away the bubbles? This is totally normal. This is beautiful. Yeah. This is art? It's not the most graceful process. When you're drinking, it doesn't really matter how graceful you are. What is this, cream soda? Smells like cream soda. Do we make, is this how you make cream soda? <laughs> yeah, that's the secret that big soda doesn't want you to know. Wow. All you need is some rum and a soda stream. <laughs> You know, I thought that when you were saying that, that was just bull****, but I think that you're really onto something. Thank you. He's telling the truth. All right. For once. I'm excited about this. This one I have actually never tried. I've never tried whiskey. I think this one's gonna be gross. I don't, oh, I don't like that. If you don't like scotch, you know, or whiskey already, you, you won't like this. I don't like scotch. It's like, do you want your scotch on the rocks? Neat. Soda streamed. <laughs> it's like just, it should just be a third option yeah. now. Yeah, soda stream makes everything better. Uh, so far, yes. Yeah. It looks like fruit punch. It does look like fruit punch. You know? Soda stream wine. Mm, middle school gym class. You get that? Nope. That's just me. Nice consistency. Good legs. It's definitely carbonated. I thought it would taste like a sparkling wine. I thought it would taste like Lambrusco. Yeah, and maybe, I think a white wine would probably be better right? here. It's not the soda stream's fault. No, maybe the wine's just bad. Maybe it's not good wine. I know I said it was good <laughs> wine, but that's because I was lying earlier. Plus, I did. Now, keep in mind that you are drinking straight booze when you're using the soda stream for your liquor, so mm -hmm. drink responsibly. For sure. So, in conclusion, we no longer have to mix our drinks with soda water if we want bubbles. And thanks to our hard work and research, now you know which ones are best with bubbles. So dust off that old soda stream that you've had shoved under your kitchen sink and have yourself a party. We'd come. Maybe. Okay. I'm Lee Kalpakis. This was Food Casting. For more daily hit videos, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more angry soda coverage from Thrillist, check out the link in our description. And if you want more taste tests, you can check this video right here.